In this video, we're going to talk about the Zero Custom Payment URL functionality. So Zero Accounting offers a custom payment URL functionality that allows you to send your invoices from Zero Accounting and have a pay now link embedded in the invoice from Zero Accounting, uh, which will redirect to Benji Pays to allow your customer to pay their bill. So we're going to talk about how to set that up. So you're going to have a custom payment URL for each of the gateways you have set up in Benji Pays. So if you go into Benji Pays and you go to settings and then you go to zero custom payment URLs, you're going to see a few things here. The first thing is you're going to see is there's a URL template for each of the payment gateways that we have set up. In this case, we have a Moneris Canadian and a Moneris, Moneris US dollar. So in order to configure these in zero, um, there's some links on this page here that will take you to a zero website, uh, which talks about this, but we're going to walk through this step by step here. So the first thing we're going to do is come over to zero and we're going to go to our settings and we're going to go to invoice settings and we're going to create two new branding themes and the branding themes. The reason we're doing this is the branding themes can have a custom payment URL associated with them. So we're going to call one uh, Canadian pay now. We're going to leave the defaults and we're going to call another US dollar pay now. Okay. Now you could also copy uh, an existing one if you already have one configured with your logo and whatnot. Um, and then we can configure the payment services after that, if that's easier. Now you're going to go to payment services. You can do that right from the branding uh, uh, page, or you can do it by going to your settings and clicking on payment services. It will take you to the same thing. Now, what we want to do is set up an other payment service because Zero doesn't know about Benji Pays, uh, but they give us a way to provide a, a custom URL. So we're gonna click Add Other, and then we're gonna click this last option, Custom Payment URL. So we're gonna call this Benji Pays Canadian, and we have to enter our URL here. So we're gonna go back to Benji Pays, and we're gonna copy this URL here from Benji Pays. Go back to zero, and we're going to paste that in here. And this is the text that will appear on the button that your customers will see. Um, we're just going to type pay with credit card and click save. Now we're going to do that one more time for our US dollar count. Go back and grab that. Okay, so those are saved. Now we can see our two connected payment services are here. And we're going to click on Manage Themes. And this is where we can connect those payment services to one of our themes. So for the Canadian one, we're going to choose Benji Pays CAD. And for the US dollar one, we're going to choose Benji Pays USD. And now we're going to click Save. Okay. So now that configuration is done. So we're going to test it out here. We're going to go back to our dashboard and we're going to create a new invoice, a test invoice, uh, by clicking the plus sign here and then clicking invoice. And we're going to create an invoice here uh, in Canadian dollars and we're going to choose our branding theme of Canadian Pay Now. And we'll put um, We'll put something on here so we can see how this works. And we're going to say Mark is done. So this will save the invoice. Okay, so now we've got an invoice here for this customer. Uh, we can get the link. We can either email this to ourselves, um, but in this case, we're just going to uh, get a link to view what the customers would see when they click on the invoice in the email. And we'll go over here and open a new window and click that. So now this has loaded the invoice on the Zero website. Now your customers will see this and they'll see this pay with credit card link. If we click that, 
This is where Zero is going to redirect to your custom branded Benji Pays URL. So now we can see that the invoice we just created, the details are there. Our customer can either pay with an existing card that's on file or they can pay with a new card. And the functionality here is exactly the same as what you'll see in our pay now links. And you can see our other videos for more details on that. But basically if your customer chooses an existing card on file or they enter a new card, details. Now they can either save that card for future use, in which case they have to agree, or they can just pay this one charge now. So you can see the invoice has been successfully paid. The customers noted that they're going to receive a, a receipt, so we'll go look at that in our email. So we can see two things here. One is, as the invoicer, as the company doing the invoicing, we've received a notification that Invoice24 has been paid by using the Zero Pay Now link. And then as the customer who paid, they would receive this branded in invoice. This will have your logo that you've configured in your uh, portal, as well as all the, the details of the bill or sorry, the transaction, and a copy of the paid invoice from Zero, showing that there's nothing due. Now, we go back to Zero, and we're just going to refresh this invoice here, and we can see that there's a payment for $50 noted, and the current amount due is $0. So if we click in to view that payment. We can look at the history of the payment. You can see that it was paid today at 10.55 a.m., which is when we paid it. And if we go back to that invoice and we look at the history and notes, we can see the details of the credit card transaction are on the invoice. And so that's how you can use the custom payment URL functionality in Zero to easily have your customers pay and register new cards using the PayNow links. Again, those are in your settings and then Zero custom payment URLs.